Okay, hello everyone. We are back here for round two of this modern league. Uh, last time we, uh, last round we took out Boris Burn. Uh, pretty happy about that. Uh, sort of close games towards the end, uh, but we did get there. All right, so this hand looks reasonable to me. Um, we're on the play. We've got two uh, two hex proof, uh, two core spirit dancers, but we've also got totem armor. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, hopefully we don't get punished, uh, and instead we just get to go off and. Blast our opponent in the a million in the face for a million damage uh, when we attack with our cores. Um, let's see what they do. Bloodstained Maya, okay. Nothing yet though. We draw Leyline. Uh, that's pretty dead. Let's uh, try our luck by casting one. Um, if they kill it, <clears throat> hopefully we draw land and we can just go core spirit dancer plus hyena umbra. Um, <clears throat> Unless they're running Spell Snare, I can't see what they're doing here. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push, something like that. But obviously red is Lightning Bolt. Alright, so hopefully they just go in on what they're doing and ignore us now. And we get out a Totem Armored Core. Are they really just going to hold up mana? Can they go away? Holy crap. Alright. Well, I think we have to go for it anyway. Um, just in case they're like a Through the Breach Gristlebrand deck or something. Um, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble here. If this is, if this is like Searing Blaze, I'm in a lot of trouble. Um, oh, uh, let's see. Wouldn't that be the nightmare? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Holy crap! <laughs> All right. Well, if we draw land, we do actually get to cast our Leyline of Sanctity, and that will. Stop our opponent from um, doing anything, unless they have a creature. Looks like they're just holding all burn spells. Uh, so we do draw land. Uh, this burn spell is going to be coming at their own face. Um, I'd say they probably deserve it after what they did just before. Um, <laughs> to our beautiful core spirit dancers. Um, and yeah, they're going to have to find a creature. We're going to have to find a creature. And then we can have a real game from that point. Um, here they might have some description of burn spell for our face, Boris Charm, alright, there you go. Yep, that's fine. So now we can only take creature damage pre-board. This is going to their face, and, uh, <laughs> we're winning the race. We are winning the race right now. <laughs> Hopefully we draw a hexproof creature, because we'll absolutely smash them from this point if we do. Alright, they're cycling. That's a good sign. <laughs> oh no, go away, Goblin Guide. <laughs> oh, it's a Dryad Arbor. Uh, let's go in on Dryad Arbor. Hope that's not a Lightning Bolt. Um, so... Alright, that resolved. Alright, let's empty our whole hand and they won't be able to attack us anymore. Um, yeah, beautiful. Textbook victory. Let's go. <laughs> Attack if you dare, opponent. <laughs> What's on top of our library? Raise Verge Thicket. Alright, he's drawing us into gas. Um, he'd need to have triple lightning bolt, and then he'd get our totem armor, and would still block and kill his goblin guide with ethereal armor. Um, so yeah, this block seems fine. <clears throat> do, do, do. Alright. <laughs> Alright, he does know we have first strike, right? Alright, don't think our opponent, uh, knows what first strike does. <laughs> Oh, very bizarre. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Go go, team Dryad Arbor. Um, <laughs> he's got the goods. <laughs> when other lands would have uh, crapped on us, Dryad Arbor off of Windswept Teeth has got the job done. Alright. Excellent. So we just versed this last round. Real simple board here. Uh, in with two force and two path, out with the core spirit dancers, and we'll submit that list. 
Um, so Path to Exile for their creatures, and Force of Vigor for their Eidolon of the Great Rebels. Uh, particularly when you're on the draw like this, um, Force is good to have to deal with that horrible, horrible creature. <clears throat> Yep. Now we know what sort of hands to keep as well. We keep our, you know, Leyliner Sanctity hands with Glade Cover Scout and Daybreak Coroner, and we'll be good to go from there. <laughs> Alright, so this hand's a no go. We'll throw it back. See what we got. Alright, this hand looks fantastic. Bottom the Spider Umbra. Oh, wait a moment. Uh, maybe not. Mm. Might bottom the Rancor here. Um, is that all land? Because uh, if I bottom um, Spider Umbra, I have like a 4-2 creature with Trample and Vigilance, and I don't have any real stat there. If I keep Spider Umbra and um, Sentinel's Eyes, I'll have a 3-3. Three, three. I, think, I think maybe I'll just bottom the land. We're on the draw. We have more of a chance of drawing a land as well. Um... Let's, let's keep it like this. Uh, let's go uber greedy on the auras. Um, and keep the strength of Leyline. Have the strength of Leyline do all the work for us. Alright, it's not so strong that we want to draw one on our uh, first draw step. But that's okay. We've still got it. Alright, they're attacking us for one. Uh, that seems fine. It could be an Eidolon of the Great Rebel second main here. Yep, yeah, so there's that Eidolon. Uh, it's not a huge issue. Uh, let's just get out our Vigilance. If we draw a First Strike Aura, we're going to want to cast out First Strike Aura. Uh, we're not going to attack into Eidolon. That's just silly. Um, if we had have kept the land, uh, we could have played Spider Umbra and then attacked. Because we've got Leyline, we can be way more liberal with our life total on the Eidolon. Um, see what our opponent does here. Uh, obviously we can't block. Alright, they're not attacking with Eidolon. They're showing absolutely no strength right now. Um, shocking that in maybe means cycle and then try to do something? I don't know. That seems weird. Wouldn't you cycle first and then shock? Unless they've got the destroy and destroy its effect for ley line and then they're going to look to throw damage at our face. Rift Bolt suspended. Alright, so maybe they've got skull crack and uh, they're just playing around us drawing land into Daybreak Coronet here. Alright, so let's play our Spider Umbra and I feel like it's a pretty safe attack. Opponent's only got three hands, uh, three cards in hand. We're still at a pretty he healthy life total as well. Maybe it was even just like a bluff shock. Um, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Alright, we get our damage through. That's really good. Uh, he might be cycling the Sunbake Canyon here. Yep. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, so what we want to see is our opponent make out, make their land drop here. This Rift Bolt's coming off suspend. He's He's got to have a wear tear, right? Alright, there's the tear. Yep. So prowess trigger. Uh, Rift Bolt's going to be coming at our face now. Um, but that's good. That's sunk up their white mana for the turn. Actually, when they suspended Rift Bolt, I probably should have assumed they had the tear. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference to my play. Um, except maybe I wouldn't have attacked. Uh, because if they tear the Spider Umbra and then block the Bogle, we lose our creature. And we're only on a one lander and we're that far behind at that point, we just lose. Um, Alright, he's played another Sunbake Canyon. <clears throat> Well, he can, he can attack for three here if he wants. <clears throat> if he doesn't, it shows that he's looking to block. Alright, so we, we're not blocking him. 
That's fine. I'll take the damage. Let's see what we draw. It's not hugely helpful. If I play that, I could enable Searing Blaze as well. Uh, which wouldn't be great. Three cards in hand. Eight life. Attack for three. Play second scout as a chump blocker. Put him to seven if I attack for three. Uh, that's not really any close to dead. Any closer to dead. Um... If I play Rancor on attack for 5, that puts my opponent on a 2 turn clock. I go to 7. Uh, yeah, maybe that's just for the best. Uh, let's let's try that. We do have a game 3 we can play. Um, and potentially get a better, better result than what's going on here. Alright, I'll play my Dry Darby here, potentially as a Chump Blocker. If it eats a Burn Spell, that's okay. If he Searing Blazes, he can't do it this turn, he has to do it next turn. So he's cycled the Sunbaked Canyon, so he's looking for stuff. That's good. Um, with my Bogle, I'm going to block the Swiss Spear here. Alright, he's played another land. Our opponent has not missed a land drop. They could be flooded here. Um, and I'm pretty sure they are, or else we'd just be dead. Um... <laughs> Really? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna block with the dried arbor here. It feels like he's trying to suicide that, so then he can double shoot us in the face or something, um, without taking damage. If it was two one mana spells, we'd already be dead. Uh, which means he'd have to crack a fetch land, so maybe he's got a lightning bolt and a lightning helix or something. Oh no, because that would work still. A lightning bolt and a skull crack. Um, or Boros Charm. Um, but Boros Charm would kill us. Wait. No, it wouldn't. Okay. That's weird that he just attacked with Eidolon. I mean, it doesn't seem right to me. We'll see what he does. Maybe he's got a second idol on here he's looking to play. If he plays anything here, he goes to two now. What is he doing? Alright. Um, so we can attack for the win here. Uh, as long as I don't destroy Rancor. If they can destroy Rancor, I think we lose. Um, hmm. He'll go to a 2-3, we'll trade with the Scout, he'll be on 2 life and unable to cast another spell, and then we'll have a 3-3. Three, three. Alright, so he's looking to pump up his creature. It's got to be wear tear here. It's got to be. Get greedy and do the spider umbra. Um. Alright. Uh, well, we just got the win. Gotcha. Alright, cool. Um, trample OP. Uh, path, we could potentially do a combat trick there. Um, and kill his swift spear. But then, yeah, because he was only on two life when he cast that, so he couldn't cast Wear Terror or anything. Um, opponent has disconnected. Interesting. <laughs> I think maybe he was a little bit frustrated there. Um, but yeah, if he had like one extra life point, he might have done Wear Terror and got greedy and gone for the Spider Umbra or something. In which case, we'd path the Swiss Spear in response. If he Wear Terred the Rancor in that situation, um, we'd have a 3-3 three, three with Totem Armor. He would have gone up to a 3-4. We could have passed in response. 
um, on the Swift Spear, gone to one, kept our creature, and then we would have been able to block the Eidolon and then attack the next turn with our Vigilance. So I think the line we did was sort of the best line that we could do. Um, <laughs> so that's that's pretty good. That's 2-0 so far in this league against two burn decks as well. Uh, so showing our superiority there. Um, and yeah, we're going to end the video there, guys. Thank you for watching right up until the end. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe uh, for daily Boogles content and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you all, and we'll see you next time.